This first story comes out of Pine, Colorado. A mule deer in Pine, Colorado was rescued by park rangers. Don't look so bored. <laughs> you say park ranger, I think yogi. I'm yogi. not bored at all. You go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> That's a picnic basket, boo-boo. <laughs> boo-boo. Uh, was rescued by park rangers after getting his head jammed into a 10-pound plastic bird feeder. There are some pictures of this, too. I, I, got, I didn't have them here, but I'll put them up on the screen. <laughs> Colorado Parks and Wildlife Officer Joe Nicholson pried the plastic tub off the deer's neck after temporarily subduing it onto the ground on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm it's sure he didn't hit him. <laughs> well, I don't know how he subdued him, though. Hit him in the head. Right that might have been a... Just waited for him to walk into a tree. <laughs> oh. Son, take his back legs out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Um... What was I going to say? I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, blah, blah, blah. Wildlife, especially deer, elk, and moose, are often foraging for food in the winter months. Mm-hmm. Colorado Parks and Wildlife urges everyone to take down the volleyball nets, hammocks, hanging lights, and other items that deer, especially the bucks, bucks can get tangled in, the agency said. I understand that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If, if you live in an area where there's a lot, I get it. Yeah. Because if you live out there, you probably do like animals. It's probably one of the reasons you live out there. Yeah, I, either that or you just don't hate Or you people. love to see them suffer. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you move out there and put up as many nets as you it's can. Time to get the volleyball nets out. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to watch three or four of them when we get all tangled So do year. you play croquet? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I do like to watch the... Uh, sort of. Yeah, <laughs> it's a game. <laughs> it is a game. And I set it up and I watch. <laughs> <laughs> We got another one, Ma. <laughs> oh no! Is that is that pond filled with vodka? No. <laughs> yeah. These animals are all brand. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember the thing, the video with the drunk uh, sheep climbing into the yes. pen? Yes. Oh. And the the music in the background was yes. just so ridiculous. That was when we did that in one of our earlier ones. I think we got tagged for a copyright thing, so I had to edit it or something. But it was that funny. was funny, man. Oh my goodness, I've never seen anything like that. The the Graham Norton show had something similar on there. No, it was okay. This guy had he was drinking a beer, and then mm-hmm. somebody said, "You have a huge fly in your beer." It was great, man. I love that show. But it, man, he said that, and he just you know picked it up with his finger, put it down. He's like, oh, "I'll save its life," and he put it on the ground. A couple minutes later, they showed it, and he was like, the fly was doing this. He was he was stumbling around. It was hilarious. He couldn't fly, but he would take a step with a couple legs, and he would, like, stumble to the right and then the left. Oh, oh wow. The fly was drunk. He was drunk. I've never oh. seen a drunk fly. That I've was never one of the best things I've ever seen. Wow. And they just, they thought it was great. It was well, fun. yeah, that's, uh, I mean, just, um, that's, you can't, uh. You can't script something. No, no, like that, that was that was great. Yeah, that's that fun. Was, that 